Thank you, Mr. Speaker. America's national defense has historically been a source of bipartisan agreement, not a battleground for divisive, extreme partisan politics. Unfortunately, House Republicans chose to use the NDAA to advance controversial and harmful amendments rather than work in a bipartisan way to bolster our national defense, strengthen our national security interests, and protect our service members. Through the amendment process, House Republicans inserted extreme anti-abortion, anti-LGBTQ, and anti-DEI amendments that infringe upon the rights of individuals, notably those who served in our armed forces and their families, threaten their liberties, and undermine the principles of freedom and autonomy that they work every day to defend. With these poison pills, I could not vote to advance this year's NDAA as amended. Listen, folks, I'll work tirelessly with my Senate counterparts and reasonable Republicans to ensure that damaging anti-abortion, anti-LGBTQ, and anti-DEI amendments are not included in the final text of this legislation. Thank you, and I yield back. For what purpose does the gentlelady from California seek recognition?